Society's voters singled out one film for their highest praise. Said one judge of our winner, this film took me into the concert. You can't beat that. The winner of the exceptional 3D Live Event Award of 2010 goes to Black Eyed Peas from AEG. The legend that would follow. But it doesn't take a genius to realise what you all, the miracle workers in this audience, have started as a theatre owner. I thank you. To make a 3D short, movie makers use the same careful precision of a major production but make that same magic in a few minutes with a fraction of the budget. Here's what our voters said about tonight's winning film. It's a narrative force. In a few short minutes, this film tells a sweet story in a mind-boggling way. The Lumiere for exceptional 3D short film goes to Day and Night by Pixar. Let's have a look. Loved the result of what it created for the audience, a more immersive and more engaging experience. And today, thanks to so many other people whose shoulders we stood upon for Avatar, thanks to Vince Pace, who created a camera <coughs> system with Jim that allowed us to film Avatar with the same flexibility we would have with a 2D camera, thanks to people like Josh Weir and Real D and, and Dolby and Expandee, we can now go out in more than two theaters. As a matter of fact, this year, there will be over 30,000 theaters. And thanks to consumer electronics companies, if a consumer goes into the marketplace today and wants to buy the best HD TV, it's also a 3D capable HD TV. We are very excited about that. And Jim looks forward to doing every project in the future in 3D. And he thanks Jim and the 3D Society for being a place that brings 3D filmmakers together and we thank you for being here tonight. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be here as a token Brit um, <laughs> to accept this award on behalf of the uh, British Sky Broadcasting Corporation, otherwise known as Sky 3D UK. Um, I've been spending the last few days in California having a wonderful time interviewing many of you, people who are bringing the 3D dream alive. It's been a great privilege. I'm working currently on a, a 3D Sky project, uh, looking back at the history of 3D. And that's something which has been, for me, a lifelong personal fascination. So I'm uh, Experiencing firsthand and making great 3D content for broadcast is not without its challenges. Sky are extremely proud of Dance 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 as a great example of using 3D to bring underrepresented art forms to life on screen. So on Sky's behalf, I'd like to thank everyone at Fresh Wild Productions, especially Ursula McFarlane, David Wise and Jeff Baines, the English National Ballet, especially Wayne Eagling, Castle and the director of Dance Dance Dance, Mark James. The team at Sky feel honoured to be recognised for this award and have asked me to thank the judging panel, their in-house production teams at Sky 3D and Sky Arts. On behalf of Sky TV, 3D UK, thank you very much. I told Jeff I was coming to this event to uh, present an award to Lenny Lipton. And uh, Jeff said to me, you know, oh, Johnny, are you doing that because he, he created the first uh, electronic display of stereoscopic imagery? Uh, I said, no. He goes, well, are, are you doing it because he created the, the crystallize that NASA is using on the, on the Mars rover? So I, 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 said, I said, no. He uh, looked over at a, a picture of my family, the size. He says, you're doing it because of great family that he and Julia have created with their kids, Anna, Noah, and Jonah. I said, I said, no. He said, you know, you know, looked at my bookshelf and saw a book, Independent Filmmaking by Lenny Lipton. It was the first book I ever got in college in a filmmaking class. He says, it's because of that book. I said, no. I said, it's because without Lenny Lipton, there would be no 3D today. And, and for that, all of us owe Lenny an incredible debt of gratitude. So to have the opportunity 
to recognize this one man's achievement and to, to finally ask him the most pressing question of all, what did the lyrics mean to puff the magic dragon that he wrote? It's my pleasure to bring him on stage and give this Lifetime Achievement Award to a man we would not be here without, Lenny Lipton.